from the Multi-GP Headquarters, this is Multi-GP News. Welcome to Multi-GP News. Wicked weather pounded the Northeast with heavy downpours and high winds, destroying the flat line and track, but the Multi-GP Regional Final number 3 somehow continued on schedule despite the nasty weather. We have a recap of the wet and wild Northeast Regional Final ahead. Plus, more qualifiers wrapped up in the northwest and south central regions of the country. Find out which pilots are dominating the qualifier standings for week 17. Also, we are counting down the days until the Multi GP International Open at the sprawling AMA headquarters in Muncie, Indiana next month. This week, we explore the fun racing and prizes pilots can expect at Spec and Tiny Book Track. We still need additional volunteers for I.O. Your admission to the event will be free. We will give you details on how you can get involved as a volunteer at the Multi-GP International Open. All this on Multi-GP News. The Northeast Regional Final kicked off in New Jersey last weekend with an unpleasant morning surprise from Mother Nature. Torrential downpours and gusty winds pounded the Lareda Winery airfield, destroying Race Central, the pilot pits, and flight line. Winds lifted and dropped the Central Gates flags, ripping apart the regional final track. An amazing band of pilots and volunteers gathered to rebuild. They proved that even the worst weather would not stop the race. Not rain, wind, or summer storms could stand in the way of the Northeast Regional Final. Here's a recap, take a look. A banner weekend at the Lareda Winery in New Egypt, New Jersey this weekend as the top 100 pilots in the Northeast region competed at their long-awaited regional final as part of the 2018 Multi-GP Regional Series presented by the Academy of Model Aeronautics. Big news was announced that the top three of each regional series final will earn a Drone Racing League Racer 3 as part of the DRL Sim on Steam promotion. Plus, the 2018 Multi-GP Regional Series champion will earn a 2019 pilot contract with DRL. Within the top 100, there were several notable pilots and some great pilots to follow. Two female pilots qualified, qualifying 31st Jessica Rotor Girl Farrar and 91st Susan Rowe Smith. Rowe finished 50th overall, a gain of 40, and Rotor Girl finished 25th overall, a gain of 6. We were super proud of Jeff X, the patriarch of a father-son combination, qualifying for the regional final in the 100th position, finishing in the 42nd position, with his son Neon FPV finishing 19th overall. And of course, we had some fast, fast pilots. Jonathan JT FPV Templeton was the top qualifier for the first few rounds until the pre-final TQs found their gear. Patrick Engineer White, the highest ranking pilot in the Northeast region, going into the regional final, jumped to second between round two and three, shuffling things up a bit. The Northeast regional final was also the region the top two qualifiers from the Southeast region applied to transfer to. While Alex Chief Campbell couldn't make it, Evan heads up FPV Turner came guns a-blazing. This is the fast heat. Remember, heats four and eight are your top 16 shuffled together. And uh, we started with seven, still with seven. JTFPV went down to the ground, but he's up and on his way. As we pick up your leader, heads up FPV, that turbo wing slurtle section. Also, slurtling we have out in that section, fine FPV. And flying J. But here comes your leader onto lap two, 32 5, the opening lap for heads up FPV. He has the fastest single round on this course. He did that yesterday. I want to say four laps, two minutes, 04. Engineer with a 42 7 fine FPV. After a shaky first round, Heads Up dropped a round of four laps in two minutes and four seconds, shattering the previous record set by Dolma FPV in the Southwest region on the standardized regional final course. And while the event really began to move smoothly on Saturday, eventually a torrential rainstorm shut racing down near the end of round three to resume the next morning. Overnight, the winds destroyed the course, flight line, pilot pit areas, and race control. The pilot pit tents were balled up 10 feet away in the seating area. The flight line was unrecognizable and the race control was completely destroyed. At 6.30 a.m., the early arriving crew took and sent pictures, and by 7 a.m., the call out went out, we will rebuild. 
through miraculous efforts and some luck, the first heat of warm-up resumed at 9.59 a.m. Back into racing, Heads Up FPV raised the bar for a best round at the end of round three with four laps in two minutes and one second, less than 1.5 seconds from getting into a never achieved yet fifth lap. Then after round four, he posted another untouchable time of four laps in two minutes and six seconds to take the top qualifier spot for the Northeast Regional Final and set the record for the best qualifying three of five times of 12 laps in the three best rounds in six minutes and 11 seconds, shattering the previous record by 22 seconds. And in all of the qualifying, set the fastest lap on the regional finals track of 28 seconds, 0.198, unseating Miwo's 29 seconds, 0.029 by almost a second. Here we got JTFPV holding him off again. Your leader now after two. Heads up FPV in the number two spot, 1.2 seconds back. And heads up FPV with a 29.170 on lap number two as he went from third all the way up into the number two spot. That was a big move, big move as well. And he is now still with the second fastest lap on this track. 29.029 is the track record from the Southwest region. That's one of his teammates. That is Miwo who did it. Heads up FPV. Now the fastest on this track. 28.9 after lap number three. At the end of qualifying, the competition transitioned into championship brackets. The pilots battled their way through the top 32 double elimination bracket, resulting in a final four that was a great race to watch. Go down, race time, one more time in the liquid sunshine, just as it picks up, it doesn't matter. We're gonna be raining all kinds of champagne on Victory Lane when we round out this Northeast Regional Final. I'm excited about this. I'm seeing a lot of volunteers and crew standing taller, standing a little prouder. Everyone around monitors watching this final throwdown. Heads up, FPV, your leader going up high to the skies, but he's not alone. Let's go up high as well with Holy, that's a gap. Viking FPV running in the number two spot and right with them, Engineer in the number three. And don't count out Otter. Heads up FPV now onto lap number two, 31 3 the last time around. Top three getting racer threes from DRL. Top three getting trophies. And the top three getting the challenge coins from Multi GP as well. Everyone going to champs to compete for their share of $25,000. But we need to award those prizes. Heads up your leader. About to go high to the skies from the DRL Sim launch, the DRL Sim dive. But now it's a battle for podium. Second, third, Third, fourth, Engineer, Viking and Otter, second, third, and fourth. Watch an Engineer go up high to the skies and watch who's with them. There goes Engineer up. Now it's ready to go up high with Viking. And last to go up will be the Otter, but he's only two gates back. He goes to the skies, one to go. That was at 30.000 for heads up FPV. Engineer in the number two spawn with a 34.2. There's Viking running in third with a 34.8. I heard a ringer dinger, but everyone's still flying. It is all good in the hood. And there's the Otter onto the third lap as well. Top four or better. Guaranteed final is fast 56, but who's getting the DRL racer threes? Three of them to award. And we're going to give one to heads up FPV, your top qualifier at this event, and your champion of the Northeast Regional Final. Heads up FPV, three laps in a minute 32. That was fast. Finishing with a podium of first, heads up FPV Turner with three laps in one minute and 32 seconds. And in second place, Patrick Engineer White with three laps in one minute, 52 seconds. Finally, third, Olaf Viking FPV Hitchwa with three laps in one minute and 57 seconds. Another storyline we were following was Ethan, Ethan FPV Kling, the Buffalo Bando wildcard winner, whom finished as a finalist in the top six position that resulted in the wildcard being handed forward to the next finisher in line at Buffalo Bando. Paul Nurk Nurkala taking that wildcard slot. A big thanks to all the volunteers, pilots, friends, and family who helped build, rebuild, and salvage the course, and pack up the course, and areas leaving a clean field behind. The Lorita Winery drone field may be wiped clean, but the memories of the perseverance by the crew, pilots, and volunteers will last a lifetime. And a big thank you to the teardown crew, Matt S., Smitty, Rue, and Frank Costello, for sure. Finally, we have a heck of a team we have the privilege to work with at each event. We cannot thank Michelle and Matt, LED Girl and LED Boy, any more for all their hard work. A big thank you to Doug Kling and Ethan for their hard work. Congratulations to all the pilots that earned finalist positions, the contenders, and everyone now ranked nationally on the list. We look forward to celebrating with you at the Multi-GP Championships.
MultiGP has the full list of the regional final standings available for you. Visit MultiGP.com for the latest regional series results. Miss the final drone race or want to see it again? Watch the final race to determine first place and the wild card at the Northeast Regional Final with a visit to MultiGP.com backslash live. Across the USA, Week 17 closed out with five qualifiers, one in the Northwest and four in the South Central region. A major thank you to Spokane FPV, Hawks RC, Chicago Drone FPV, St. Louis FPV Racers, and Heart of America for hosting those races. The competition heats up. There is a new leader in the North Central region. Cameron Ghostish Forney is a fast and consistent pilot who is currently ranked seventh nationally on the regional qualifier course. 156 pilots have done a lap or more in the North Central Regional Qualifier course. It is going to be a battle at their first regional final in September, with the season just getting into full swing across the Northwest and South Central region. So far, 73 pilots have recorded a lap or more in the Northwest. They are all looking to get ranked for the Northwest Regional Final coming August 18th through the 19th at Die Hard RC Airfield. In the South Central, 78 pilots are ranked. Across the USA, 785 pilots have done a lap or more on the regional qualifier course. The 2018 MultiGP Regional Finals are on pace to have over 1,000 pilots attempt to qualify in the 2018 MultiGP Regional Series presented by the Academy of Model Aeronautics. That's a lot of battery packs burned. The next Regional Final kicks off August 18th and 19th from the beautiful field and racing grounds of MultiGP. GP chapter Die Hard RC in Washington State. A big shout out to Brenda and Brett for all their help as we all prepare for the Northwest Regional Final next month. Here are the next regional qualifiers on the schedule. It's almost time for the FPV event of the year. The 2018 Multi-GP International Open begins Wednesday, August 8th and runs through Sunday, August 12th from the pristine AMA headquarters in Muncie, Indiana. This week on Multi-GP News, we dig into the spec race and the Tiny Whoop International Open. Jesse P will be hosting Tiny Whoop with an amazing Tiny Whoop track. Each pilot will have lots of practice time every evening during the event, with two chances to submit official qualifying times. Tiny Whoop Racing will be casual practice every day except the last night after the World Cup race. During casual practice, you can come up to Jesse P or any of the Tiny Whoop volunteers and ask to do one of your two official qualifying times. We'll use those times to pick a top 16 who will enter a double elimination bracket immediately after the World Cup starting at 10.15 on Saturday night. The last chance to qualify will be Friday night, but we recommend you get your times in before then. Qualifying will be very packed Friday night. Now, we recently discussed the future of spec class and the big spec race going down at I.O. in our last live stream debate. Sponsored by our lovely friends at Emacs, the spec race course will be epic. During the spec race, pilots will fly and qualify with the fastest three consecutive lap time. The top 16 pilots will compete in the championship this will be a double elimination race of pilots who are flying a multi-rotor assembled with the approved components from the 2017-2018 Multi-GP Spec Class Components list. The final eight race once with the top three advancing to the championship. That's when the final four race to decide the 2018 Spec Race champion. A $5,000 prize purse is up for grabs. First through eighth get paid out while first place also gets a wildcard invite to the 2018 Multi-GP Championship. Here is the track scheduled. Thursday, 10 a.m. is the Endurance Race. Friday, 2 p.m., the Vertical Drag Race. And Saturday at 10 a.m. is the Spec Class Final. Do you plan to be worn out from all that flying? We have plans for you to lay low, relax at the stage in Vendor Village, listen to some good music, hang with friends, and join us for some fun and singing in the karaoke corner. The 2018 I.O. Pilot Manual has been published. Use it as a guide and go-to handbook for all your Multi-GP International Open questions. Also, we could use your help consider being a volunteer for the I.O. If you are going and can give a few hours of support, then let's do it. 
For volunteers, your I.O. ticket is free. Interested? Visit multigp.io and register now. Everyone, let's go to I.O. Visit multigp.io to purchase your ticket to the most epic event in 2018. That's it for this week's news. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Click that bell icon so you never miss an update from us. I'm Kalara Manade, reporting for MultiGP News. See you next week. If you like this video, press the like button below and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in being showcased in the next episode of MultiGP News, please contact us at news at multigp.com.